What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be making um, a swim bait, I think. Um, don't know the size yet. I don't know the shape. I don't know what I'm supposed to be mimicking here. I know absolutely nothing other than I have this plank of wood. Alright, so we got that V cut. That's where I drew at. Like I said, not nearly a perfect angle. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be taking this box cutter. I like this one a lot for cutting wood. I'm basically just going to trim down these corners, make it not so sharp, make it more rounded. And then you pretty much just got to sand for a long, long time. I'm going to dry out a shape. Uh, if I decide a specific one, I'll let you know. I'm just going to start sketching down some stuff, some ideas, see what I like. I'll show you the start. Um, I'm, I'm using poplar right now. It's about, it's an inch thick. I don't know how big the board was when I bought it. It doesn't really matter. But I'm using poplar. If you do want to start doing this and you'll start making your own baits, I do recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Don't use pine. Pine splits super easily. Uh, I found poplar works very well. I've made quite a few out of poplar. I'm not a master by any means. Not great at this. I just love doing it. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to get a design road out. I'll show y'all from there. It might take me two minutes. It might take me 45. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, before I show you guys this, keep in mind I am not an artist. Okay, never have been, never claimed to be. This is the image I'm uh, looking at right now. I'm gonna make a creek chub design. I'm making about four inches. This is just the outline right now. I'm gonna make the tail out of plastic. I'm probably gonna get a one joint split right in the middle. Give it that nice wobble action. Hopefully, four inches of poplar, about an inch thick. It shouldn't take a terrible amount of lead to make it sink, but I don't know. But that's that's the idea we got right now. Let me cut that out, get the shape cut out, and I'll show y'all from there. Now that I've got the generalized shape of it, uh, I'm going to try to cut the joints in the middle of it. Um, you usually want to cut like a V up to connect it. There are people on YouTube that do this uh, very well, a lot better than I do. If you want some good bait making content that's um, you, very nice baits, check out Marling Baits on YouTube. I don't know how people do it, but somehow they use something in a vise with a saw that cuts the, cuts the angle perfectly. I don't. We're going to cut it and hope for the best. I'm going to draw a V. As y'all saw, I'm not an artist. Even with a ruler, can't draw a straight line. So we're going to try to cut. We're going to try to cut these joints with the bandsaw as good as possible. I'm not going to completely split it in half yet because I would like to shave off these corners and then uh, get the shape in it. All right, so we got that V cut. That's where I drew at. Like I said, not nearly a perfect angle, but what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be taking this box cutter. I like this one a lot for cutting wood. I'm basically just going to trim down these corners, make it not so sharp, make it more rounded. All right, just like that, we're done. Completely finished, completely put to, yeah, I'm just kidding. Um, as you can see, very rough. Also did not mean to break it in half, but I did. The next step is gonna be sanding it down, turning this rough, disgusting shit into something smooth and pretty. And then um, we're gonna have to sand this more than I was hoping to, to make this actually be able to wiggle. But just keep in mind how this looks right now compared to when I come back from sanding. Alright, what's going on? Now we're back in the house. Uh, I'm going to start sanding down these pieces of the swim bait. Please ignore the mess behind me. Say hi to that big boy though. Uh, I'm going to start sanding this and um, I'll get back to you when I get some progress done. I'm going to be using 
I'm gonna start sanding these down. I've got, I believe, 220 grit. Then I'm gonna start with these, finish it off with probably about, I may finish with 220 actually, depending on how it goes. But I'm just gonna start sanding this. You're literally just gonna take it. I'm not gonna do it here, I do it over my trash can so I don't make a mess. And you just rub it all around the corners until it starts getting a round surface. And I'll get to y'all and show you what that looks like when I get to it. So now this is what we're left with, a lot smoother edges. It is by no means perfect, and I'm gonna do some micro adjusting before I start the next step. But you get the rough idea. Uh, the next part, I'm gonna be uh, drilling the pilot holes to connect these two together with the joint connections. Drill the hole for the hook hanger, or no, sorry, the line, line tie, and then both the hook hangers. Drill some holes for some lead, which I realized that in the tail, I didn't leave a whole lot of room to drill any lead holes, but we're just going to have to deal with it and hope, hopefully it'll be a slow sinker. I'm starting to think it's going to be mostly top water, but we get to that bridge when we cross it. Cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, so the next step is we're going to take our drill with this bit. I don't know what size it is. Don't ask me. Um, drill the pilot hole here as center as possible. Pilot holes down here, and you're going to need two in here for your wire connections. And you're going to make them even on the other side so when it goes together, it actually has, it's able to have the movement to be able to move back and forth. So that's going to be the next step. I'll get to y'all and I'll, I'll try to show y'all how to do it, but I don't really know how I'm going to do that. Righty tighty, lifty loosey. That's about center. You can measure it if you want to. That's what smart people do. Measure twice, do something once. Dude, I am shaking. Like, sanding that kills my hands. Alright, we're just going to go for it. Try not to drill into my hand here. Okay, the next step, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take some wire. I don't remember what gauge of wire I have. Oh, that's nice. Turn that off. But you're going to take it, twist. So your very next step is you're going to take some wire. Uh, I don't remember what gauge it is. I need my wire cutters. Hold on. back I don't know the exact length you're gonna need I never do I just cut enough that I think it's gonna work so for the first one I'm gonna go about I don't know 12 inches long you're gonna want to take it right here twist it together a couple times get it in your drill once you know it's tight you're gonna take your take your wire go around uh, I like to use a drill bit. Uh, you can put it in a vise that's your best bit. But you're going to take it just like that, hold it nice and tight, and just start slowly, and I do mean slowly, holding the trigger down. As you can see, that wire is twisting up very nicely. This is going to be two handed jobs, so I'm going to put the camera down for just a second. That should be about your end result. It's nice and twisted. It's gonna make it nice and strong to stay in there. Just all you gotta do is take it out. If I remember which way to loosen it. Righty tidy lefty loosey idiot. I'm gonna 
trim off to about there at first because I don't remember exactly how far in the line tie was. Yeah, that'll do. If you're gonna put it in there, you're gonna actually super glue it hope it doesn't fall out just like it did. Okay, I'm gonna use different super glue than I thought. I knew I used a smaller drill bit. But you're just gonna glue those in there just like that. I'm gonna be making two more of those. And one, two, three, four. Six all together, two will be connected. So there's a very specific kind of super glue I use with this. It's this right here, if it will focus. Um, it's a very fast drying super glue. This says Instacure on the bottle. It's not wrong. And um, I kind of forgot about that. Also, it burns when it touches your skin, so be wary of that. But don't use gloves because it'll glue your gloves to your bait. And uh, my finger is now glued to this. These fingers are cured glued together um well I'll just go over the bait while I'm while I'm here while I got you here I got the joint connections glued in there so it does have the action as of now I also I would recommend using an actual water sealant um, you can also use super glue if you're in a rush I should have been in a rush but I just was because I just want to get this video made and cranked out but I've got that there Oh, the only thing left to glue in is the line tie and the hook hangers, but I've got it. Con I've got it together. It may just be a part of this bait from now on. I don't know. I'm gonna try to get this off my finger without ripping my skin off. Get back to you in a minute, either with my fingers or without them. By some miracle, I got the bait off my fingers and I got my fingers unstuck. Today we've got this finished so far. It is connected. We have the hook hangers in there. It looks like it may have a nice action. Maybe. I'm going to hope for the best. That's all I'm going to be able to do today. In part two, I'm going to hopefully, which will hopefully be soon, add the lead in the front and the back. Maybe paint it. I'm not sure yet. But by part two, it should be completely finished. I also got this big guy I've been working on, which I would like to get done pretty soon uh, as soon as I can get this all out and ready I'll let you guys know but as soon as I get this guy finished and filmed I'll have it out and edited as fast as I can but uh, that's all I got for you fine people today